Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, some of you posted in the, in, the, in the comment that some Muslims are uh, saying that Christian prince lying about in Islam you can have a relationship with your daughter uh, out of adultery. And I don't know, I mean this is silly that you post for me that a bunch of kids saying that and who care. Uh, let me make it simple. Either you believe in what we say here, or you believe those kids. However, why the scholars who don't, I mean, they don't make, uh, let us say, let us say, what about you call Shabir Ali? And tell him here, Shabir Ali, Christian Prince, he says in Al-Qurtubi, it says that, is he telling the truth? And I challenge Shabir Ali to make a video says Christian Prince is lying. <laughs> so don't take it from a bunch of kids. Even by, by the way, Shabir Ali for me is just a kid. He himself do not know Arabic. <laughs> but at least he will call somebody who speak Arabic and he will read for him and we will die laughing. So don't tell me this child and this Abdul, they are kids. I feel sorry for them. And we have thousands and thousands and thousands of videos to be debating Muslims' life speaking about many topics and this topic no different from others most of them they are recorded here we go this is a muslim who is very well known in paltok who have his own chat room he tried to convert people to islam and now he is coming to debate me and this is what happened of the uh, in the case of adultery it is not considered uh, here he's saying this according to this view it is not considered uh, your own daughter because you are not married or anyway it's not your uh, uh, legally yours it's like somebody i don't want to go into that basically you uh, it becomes it becomes possible to marry one's own daughter according to this view but that is not the view of everybody that's what i'm trying to say here uh warafa uh, uh, my mic indeed La zina. La, it's, it, let me come back, read and, and translate don't read that <laughs> wow. and now he is going to even try to correct me in Arabic so this guy is not only claiming that he speaks Arabic and absolutely he speaks Arabic he is trying to say oh you did read it because there is tashkil in Arabic you know so it's not La uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not you haram. So he is trying. Uh, uh, it's true the way you read it, but because there is the shkiel, so you might make a mistake in here. But he agreed that this is not his daughter, and because she is not his daughter, he can have sex with her. But he, instead of being having saying having sex, he is saying to marry her. <laughs> but in fact, in text, it doesn't say marry her. <laughs> oh, let me read it. فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أم ولا أم بنت لا يحرم if a man begets a daughter out of adultery this is the whole idea if this daughter is because of adultery he committed adultery with his mother he had this daughter is this daughter he can marry her that's the idea the zina is he can marry where where it says he I'm saying here where where he you know I want to move just where he talk I don't want to I don't want you to hear what I'm saying because I'm talking already, I mean, there's no point. Let us hear what he is saying. See, he agree already, that's why it says, he translated from Arabic, life, and he says, yes, it says that, you can marry your daughter. And you know what? Okay. I... Okay, let's move a little bit. <laughs> this is me laughing, what I can do. Well, uh, there we are, you could not let me complete. فلا يحرم you read it wrong فلا يحرم الزنا لا يحرم not لا يحرم الزنا you this is your problem uh, Christian Prince you حرم notice it is you put it with the تشكيل you حرم notice it لا يحرم الزنا if a man commits adultery and begets a daughter that does not make that daughter his daughter because it is not his real legal daughter legally he is committed adultery and there is the legal issue that we have there is an agreement disagreement around here some scholars say it remains he is not allowed to marry her you say that this is according to the most approved scholars correct you just to say this is the most opinion of islam so which one we will take the most opinion or the least opinion? Always Muslims, they say we should go with the most. Suddenly, we should go with the least. The most and the most correct, according to your words, it is the one who approved that. 
So now we are trying to say, okay, you know, we Muslims allowed in ourselves to go and marry our daughters just because simply they are daughters out of marriage. Because in Islam, a daughter out of marriage, she is not a daughter, so I can have sex with her. Because marriage with your daughter is mean you are having sex with your daughter. So Islam allowed you to have sex with your daughter and to have kids from your daughter. What kind of religion this religion is, Mr. Abu Yermak? Well, <laughs> Christian Prince, this is exactly what you said is true. Islam is saying that if you commit adultery, when you begin a daughter, you are allowed Christian Prince, you can marry her. If that is what you like, do it. You might tell me not... Is that what you like? Do it. <laughs> so my friend, when they say to you that Christian Prince is lying to you, they are a bunch of kids, I feel sorry for them. And it's very normal actually, if you are a Muslim, and you know, you don't speak Arabic, or even if you speak Arabic, and you see this filth in your book, so what you would do? Either you have to accept that you are following a satanic cult, or you have to say, oh, it doesn't say that, lying to yourself. So they are lying to themselves. They are not lying to us, because we prove it to be true. They are lying to themselves. They knew that this is the truth. And as you see, uh, uh, this guy, he says he's trying to defend, but uh, I mean, okay, this is the most opinion, the most accurate opinion, but maybe he don't agree with that. But it doesn't matter, because according to Muhammad, he says, my nation will not agree, the majority of them, they will not agree upon something wrong, which means, Muhammad, he put the rule. If the nation agree, the majority of his people agree upon something, it must be true. And as long even there it says, according to the most accurate opinion of our scholars, the general population, the biggest number of scholars agree that you can have sex with your daughter. Based on this and based on Muhammad said that my nation will not agree upon something wrong. That means this is not wrong according to Islam. So you have to follow the most opinion, not the few who don't agree. But because now this is shameful, and they have to say, okay, well, some scholars say that, but the fact is not some. This is the majority, and it's written there in Arabic. So don't tell me it is some. This is the majority. Well, Muslims will do that. No problem. I don't, you know, I believe that some, some people, they are a human. They will not go and have sex with their daughters. Some, they are animals. <laughs> Some they are animals, you know. I mean, some uh, some people they act like animals. This is true. So your God is allowed in you. This is the main point. Your God is allowed in you to have sex with your daughter. Is that a religion of God or religion of Satan? Your mind. Be honest. Yes, Christian Prince. I'm explaining to you, but you're not. You don't want people to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying if you uh, happen to commit adultery with a woman and you have a child from that woman, a daughter, and the daughter grows, and if you want to marry that daughter, you are free, you can do that, marry her, you can, you are allowed to, but you should, the adultery in the first place is haram, you'll be killed, you understand the point, adultery is haram, you get killed if you do adultery, not a true, you will be killed if you do adultery with married women. Only. Right? Uh, to be more accurate, actually, if you are married and you uh, do adultery with the women, then you will be killed. So anyway, it doesn't matter really what this is about. But as you see, this is what it says. And those who they are saying I'm lying, we got them busted always. However, I found this website. I'm going to post uh, the link underneath of uh, the video. This is a translation made by Muslims. Post it. This is Shia. You know, Shia and Sunni, they expose each other. This is Shia website. It's called Shia Evolution, something like this. And here the translation of Al-Qurfubi, done by Muslims. And I don't agree with it, by the way, because it says for marriage. Uh, nowhere it says for that. But it says clearly you can have sex with your daughter, as you see. Like, as you see here, it says... The resulting child, which is from fornication, is not to be considered as, a, as your own child. This is why the daughter from that adultery 
is not mentioned under Allah saying forbidden for you uh, between two brackets for marriage doesn't say that I, I don't agree with this are your mothers and your daughter now yes uh, uh, in, in this verse it meant marriage actually but in the in the text about uh, the daughter has nothing to do with marriage because she is not considered to be daughter according to the most authentic teaching of Islamic scholars actually it doesn't say that is the most accurate teaching of Islamic scholars and the most accurate teaching of Islam if there is no uh, legal lineage there is no uh, relationship and this is why adultery does not forbid it you from here they are saying marrying daughter it doesn't say that in the Arabic text uh, it says having your daughter which means sleeping with her and the mother of that daughter and then here down it says a comment or let us say a, a commentary uh, al qurtubi said that uh, they have differed the scholars have differ in the principality uh, of a man marrying his daughter who was a result of adultery and relationship so anyway so when the muslim they say this is a this is lie christian prince is lying uh, i guess i need to flip the page for you so you can see it better sorry for that <laughs> It's my mistake. I was reading up. So anyway, uh, I will leave, I will leave the, the the text down in the video so you can see it. I mean, I was I was flipping the phone up. That's why it came in that way. But anyway, you can see here. It says all of them they agree that this is what it says. And when they say I'm lying, they are just shooting themselves in the foot. They are lying to themselves. So please don't tell me this kid he said and that kid he said. Either bring me a scholar and don't tell me there's a scholar he made a challenge for you. If he is a scholar and he made a challenge, who is holding him from calling me when I'm live? You see, real men, they do not make a challenge. They do it. I mean, okay, okay. You want to debate? You want to challenge Christian Prince? Get him busted. Take him into surprise. Don't even tell him I'm going to call you. <laughs> so from those who they are from Indonesia saying to me, Ustaz Potato Tomato, he made a challenge for you. I don't, don't, don't tell me that. Tell this Ustaz, why you don't call him? Get him busted live on air and take him into surprise so he don't know that you are going to call. And that will make Christian friends really in the corner because you took him into surprise. Isn't it war about surprise, my friend? Don't tell the plan. Don't tell even the topic, my friend. Just call him and get him busted. I want to say thank you for watching, guys. May the Lord bless you. And in this video, we were explaining why Islam allowing you to have sexual relationship with your daughter, which is really something. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, do you remember in the Bible where the daughter of Lut, they have sex with their father? My friend, in the Bible, it does not say that God said to the daughters of Lut, have sex with your daughters. The Bible report people committing sin, crimes, all ugly stuff and good stuff. And this is one of the stories people did. Those two women, because they were fearing that they will have no kids, there's no men around, they had sex with their father. But it's not God who told them that. So if you are against having sex with your daughter, and you are against what the daughters of Lut did, and you make fun of it, and did that make fun of it, where it is not, not, not a problem for me in the way it's reported, which means it is somebody, like now you hear in the news, uh, somebody killed somebody. Am I against killing? Absolutely. Somebody rape a woman. Am I against rape? Absolutely. Somebody have sex with his daughter. Am I against uh, that? Yes. But this is just a news. It's not God saying. If you can show me where God says, go and marry your daughter, you are my hero. <laughs> So here we have different story. We have God and we have Islamic scholars agreeing that your daughter from adultery is lawful for you. This is not the daughter of Lot making their own opinion. Daughter of Lot are not scholars and they are not prophets and they are not receiving order from God. They are two women who did something. You agree with it or not, it, they did it. But it's not God teaching. So stop being hypocrite and face the truth. This is Islam, and this is how we do it. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you soon. Leave your comment and invite your scholar to call me and get me busted, please. Take care.